Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I'm Father Steve Summers. This is Dot. She has a new little stick this morning to chew on for a few minutes. I have to get food in her tummy today before she can take uh, her antibiotics. We've learned that um, these must be taken on a full tummy or she gets sick. So uh, the antibiotics seem to be helping. And she's got a whole lot of energy, especially at night. So I think she's feeling better. Anyway, I hope you're in a good place today, that you're feeling better too, <laughs> that, that uh, this uh, crazy weather that's uh, going uh, across uh, most of the U.S. Is, uh, and, and large parts of the world uh, is not getting you down. Uh, God is ultimately in charge, and he will continue to be in charge, and uh, we trust him. Uh, I was just thinking today about uh, a question I, I read that someone was asking about uh, what is the point of praising God? That praise seems to be just empty words tossed up, up, and you know, this person was wondering, you know, what's the point of praise? And uh, I was, I thought immediately, and actually responded on this thread uh, to read uh, uh, the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, I believe it is, uh, where Paul and uh, Silas uh, are in prison in uh, Philippi. Uh, they had gotten in trouble for delivering a, a, a demon from out of a young girl, uh, and they wound up not only locked up in prison in Philippi, uh, but in the center part of the prison with their feet in stocks. And they were, uh, the jailer was supposed to guard them very carefully. And here's what it says uh, in, in Acts uh, 16, about verse uh, 24, 25. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was such a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once all the prison doors flew open and everybody's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, Don't harm yourself, we are all here. So the jailer eventually came into the body of the faithful when he found that Paul and Silas were still there, but somehow had been delivered from their imprisonment. So what is the point of praise? Well, it came to my mind just from reading that and just from asking that question. Four things come to mind about the power of praise. Number one, it changes our focus from our limited focus to God. Second, it changes our situation from anxiety to hope. Third, it changes our outlook from our limitations to God's unlimited power. And fourth, it changes everything <laughs> from our imprisonment to whatever it is that's holding us uh, captive to freedom from our emptiness to God's power. When we praise the Lord, we unlock the resources of his glory and his love and his compassion. Uh, and suddenly we're not helpless anymore. No matter where we are, we start praising the name of the Lord uh, and things start to happen starting right here in our own hearts. And remember that, that the one who is with you has unlimited power to find a way through whatever it is that you're going through or what, whatever you're stuck in, he has the power. We don't. And when we praise him, uh, we open ourselves up to much greater possibilities than if we continue to focus on our own turmoil. Praise him. I was thinking of the wonderful song. Uh, I believe this was uh, Don Moen's song, Glorify Thy Name.
and God willing, God and I will see you here again tomorrow.